In health news tonight, single women choosing to be moms is becoming more and more common. Well, the Pew Research Center says more unmarried women than ever are now having babies, especially among those 40 to 44 years old. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Momenta live in our New Haven newsroom tonight with the story of one woman's journey and the help that she received along the way. Jocelyn? And Darren, the concept of a single woman choosing to be a mother is a growing trend and more acceptable. These days there are more career women like Liz Perez. Liz Perez is single and a mom to two-year-old Chloe. The best baby in the world. She is not unlike a lot of women. You want to meet your Prince Charming, you want to meet them, your ideal man, your mate. But at 42. I wanted to be a mom. I grew up wanting to be a mom. Her biological clock was ticking. I sat my parents down and I said, I want to be a mom. And they went, okay. Now this educator has someone to love and protect. So here's my Chloe. This is what a year and a half of going through roller coaster ride, this is what I got. That ride started with a visit to Reproductive Medicine Associates of Connecticut, where its single moms to be program is geared for women like Liz. Dr. Spencer Richland. We can help them become pregnant. We want them nutritionally ready, emotionally ready. Counseling is an integral part of the support provided to their single mothers. Would you ever tell your child that we used donor sperm to help you become pregnant? These are all the things we talk to our single moms to be upfront so we can get them thinking about these issues. In vitro fertilization, IVF was how Liz got pregnant. We put egg and sperm together, in her situation would be donor sperm created embryos and put them back into her uterus on day five. Dr. Richland recommends women to come in earlier than later. The earlier they come in, even just to talk or get some information, the better off they are because we want to get them when they're younger, when their eggs are potentially younger and healthier. It was the right choice for Liz. This is what made me complete. I'm a mother. I can probably say I'm a mother. And I love it. I love every, every single minute of it. She really does love being a mother. Another option for women to preserve their fertility, freezing their eggs so they may be able to have babies later. For more information about the Single Moms-to-Be program, log on to WTNH.com. Darren?